All right, uh, yeah, let's uh, just uh, quickly go over the market, see what's going on. <sighs> Today, uh, basically had this bounce right here. So this is what I'm gonna go over and show what happened in terms of, you know, accumulation, distribution, etc. The first thing we see is the market is up here, retesting the high, right? So it's retesting the high and um, what happened was it was going higher but this selling pressure came in because this area here was actually distribution now if you look at the candle chart look at a bar chart you would only know this after the fact but if you look at the footprint any footprint chart you would know I mean, if you know how to read volume and all that that this distribution how do you know i'll show you so market right here, someone bought 20,000 and 15,000 contracts, so basically 35,000 at these levels, right here, 20,000, 15,000, and instead it went up, okay, so it went up here, and they broke the high, right, meaning they just continued to go up on 38,000, okay, so that looked really constructive, so I'm watching that uh, 38,000, so I know that basically it's going to go up. So why? Because they bought here 20,000, 15,000, and then broke out above this bar on 38,000. So what does that mean? It's either a breakout or there's absorption. There's only one of two possibilities when it's taking resistance out with heavy volume and follow through. But then what happened when it went to prior resistance area, right? Right here, the selling started right there so that, i mean how i knew that this it's going on because this prior resistance here that something's going on why because this volume is more than 38 56 is more than 38 and look look at this damage there's nothing there's no like big uh, follow through so i'm watching this and guess what they try again to push the market higher this time 58 and it's coming on the high of the bar meaning there's no follow through after it so what do you know by this time if you follow me you understand the high of the bar heavy volume on the high of the bar is always distribution or some selling or profit taking right at the low of the bar it would be some accumulation etc etc so here you had selling here you had selling it made one <coughs> up thrust here and this right here was the kiss of kiss of death for the uh, bulls, right here. 54 at the same level, 66 and another 40. That's 100, over 160,000 contracts on this selling wave. So this wave here, I mean, it looked, everything looked, uh, you know, okay, you know, but nothing broke right here. This, this was the initial move down. And um, after the distribution, so in these highs, it's up and down and up and down and third up and down, distribution and initiated some selling. We don't know what that selling is, is profit taking, pull back to support, we don't, we don't really know. But here, I knew it was aggressive. Why? You have three of those white, white, white boxes. So it's very heavy selling, relatively speaking. Then this market, very slick, comes back and it goes back down now here is where you expect the bounce why this is the first test of this area where the 38 is you see the 38 this is the first test of that so you have to be really careful because when it tests like this entire move can just be a test to support all right if it's a test to support it's going to go higher so i'm you have to weigh okay this is the first test of support you know there's going to be a bounce and yeah there was a bounce and it was it was quite something because it was a very strong bounce. It went right to the highs, but when it went to the highs, yeah, when it when it went to the highs, they blocked it again. Right here, you see how the white print, the high print on the high of the bar, is selling. It's really simple, folks. If you have a bar, 
If the bottom of the bar has high volume, someone accumulated and marked it up. If the top of the bar has high volume and the has the most volume is the high volume, someone's selling high, buy low, sell high. That's how you want to basically interpret this. So here it goes up and you have that selling. Is there any fall through? Is there, you know, like there was here? You see the 1x, 2x, 3. Is there here any, um, any, uh, any of that? No. This bounce, this green bar was a result of a test of this level where you had heavy volume. And of course, as you know, whoever took that side is stuck and will break even, causing additional buying pressure. And of course, the longs will also want to get in in that level. And they did. And it went up right into where the resistance was, where the supply, heavy supply came. And these guys blocked it and, and sold. All right. All of that shit you can't see on the candle. You see? This is the problem. You, you, you know, you trade the candles by themselves. There's no fucking, no sense. There's no, no uh, common sense. If you're looking at the candles, there's no, <laughs> there's nothing. It's just high, low, high, low, break the high, go low. You know? So at least here, you, th there's some, um, you can see heavy selling pressure. You can see, all right, you can see the, you know, all the orders. Six, I mean, look, 68,000, right? And what happened? And there was a red bar. What is that telling you? Is that telling you it's buying? Fuck no. This is selling. Right, and then break. So now they're coming back to this level. These guys are already filled and they already bounced. We'll see if they're still there to support it. Otherwise, it's going lower. Where? Picking out the lows. Now, the other thing to really uh, remember is how you cannot make money off this market if you don't know how to place stops. If you don't know how to place stops, and and also if you suffer from you know the fears the two devils which are fear of missing out and fear of what was the fear of loss all right so i'll show you how this operates in the market you know for a fact that this is selling right why because of all this selling pressure and this nice break so what happens you know you sell here or put your stop above here and look at exactly which area was targeted you see this if you see this market is going down right especially after this lower low and what's in the middle and up thrust all right so there you have an up thrust and you have a lower low i can guarantee you there stops there were stops above this that's what these guys targeted there were stops above this high and what will happen is when you when you see an up thrust or the pullback is complete and makes a lower low automatically you are trained you are trained to keep your stops above the prior pivot high or the prior pivot low in an uptrend so stops are above the prior pivot high they are there. Why? Because of this bar. This bar looks like a breakdown because it broke this low and that low on increasing widening range widespread. What does that mean? That means the stops for sure are over here. And the chances of this coming all the way back to take out this high is very minimal, or at least that, that's what the thinking is. But these, this is a professional market, you know. So what do you think is going to happen? The, this is the upthrust of this high. This is a break. This is a breakdown. Wide range, expanding volume and price spread. So when the market pulls back, it's going to take out this high. This is what the market does. All right. So after this low, the, the folks, you know, they're, they're selling 
this reversal bar here, or this reversal bar here, or this FOMO breakdown bar here, and all of them are out. They're all out. Even if you were one of those who's going to cut your loss, losses short as it's going here, you exit it. Okay? Now, this is a very painful trade to hold. Very painful trade to hold. Why? Because green, 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 green. How many green bars? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 green intraday 5-minute bars consecutively together. If you're short, you don't want to be short after that. But, you know, that's what was uh, targeted. That's, th that's what happens. That's what happens. Right? So, um... Again, to trade this market, you know, I don't know. I think you need more than a, first of all, you, you, need, you need some way of reading supply and demand and um, in the common sense way, which is not candles. Common sense does not, there's no other field on earth where to gauge supply and demand to do business, they use candles or bars, they use a line chart, but in general, you will not see high, low, close bars. Any type of business will always show you price and will show you volume. Any type of business will, they don't call it volume, they call it amount, right? So amount or quantity saying that, okay, at this price, uh, we can sell a thousand, you know, footballs. And if we lower the price, give a sale by 20%, we can sell 1,500 footballs. I mean, that's common sense. So uh, we need a way of seeing this selling and buying the 1,500 and 1,000, or in this case, 38,000, 58,000, and 68,000, and a break here, 50,000, boom. So you need a way of seeing that, and also you have to uh, know how to deal with the... Um, the fear of missing out, the fear of loss. And uh, once you're in the market, then uh, typically the, you know, the fear of loss, then the hope and um, greed. So I don't know how else to explain it, but that, that's the situation. And, the, and also be very careful of using highs and lows for stops. The, those are exactly, you see this? This high took out this high, and this high took out that high. After a low was made, after this low was taken, the high was taken. This you don't expect this, right? Makes a lower low, only to make a higher high. Right? So, nothing more really to be said. All right, now going back to the Renko chart, what are the expectations? I have no idea, because here is the POC. And this same area is where the breakout occurred. So it isn't unreasonable to think that it will go down towards the POC or the breakout, the initial breakout of these highs. These highs here, this is the breakout right there and increasing volume. At the same time, this reversal here has very high volume, but it had no follow through. So the market can hold this area and go higher, right? So we don't know. We only know possibilities, and one possibility is they can go down, and other possibilities is in this volume, high volume area with this big thing right here. It holds for reaccumulation to go higher or spring here, and then go higher. In any case, you just have to know, you know, what what is it that you're doing. Even here, I knew like the this market would crack, but I just didn't want to hold over the Fourth of July weekend. Why? I mean, I knew it's like over here on on. What was it? Friday, I think. You had 62,000, 66,000 in a break. Obviously, they've established their position. What happens then? It gets tested. What happens then? It breaks. Good go. Then after that, these guys try to bring it up. What happens? They continue selling. Break some more. All right. So, I, I don't know. All right. Take care, guys. Bye.